Hey everybody, Coach Lance from OnlineHockeyTraining.com. History was made the other night at the Shark Tank in San Jose for Game 7 of their series with the Golden Knights. For the first time ever, the Sharks have forced a Game 7 after falling behind 3-1 in a playoff series, and the Vegas Knights found themselves playing in a playoff series Game 7 for the first time as well. The real story, however, was the game itself. One announcer said that the game would go down in history as one of the most incredible Game 7s in the last three or four decades, and he wasn't lying. Vegas goes up 3-0. Midway through the third, there's a very questionable five-minute major call on Vegas. The Sharks score four unanswered power play goals to move ahead of the Knights 4-3. But with 47 seconds remaining, Vegas ties it up and sends the game into an extra frame. Whew! Good thing the Zamboni had to come out for a flood, because Coach needed to catch his breath and regroup after what he just saw. Wow, what a third period. San Jose's Barclay Goudreau would end the night season as he received the pass in full flight, cuts across the front of the net, and jams it home around an outstretched flurry. And this is the play we're going to spend a little time breaking down. So let's begin. We've seen this play a lot during the opening round of these Stanley Cup playoffs. It's in the power move classification because in most cases, when you see this type of net drive, the player will have to plow through a defender's stick in order to gain access to the other side of the net, making getting a quality shot more challenging as you not only have to contend with the defender's stick, but also the goalie's poke check like you see here. Now if you think all you have to do is watch how this power move is done and you'll be able to pull it off in a game, well, I'm sorry, but you're sadly mistaken. There are a number of techniques you have to get familiar with in order to give yourself the best opportunity to execute it on the ice in a future practice or game. So let me show you how I prepare players to execute this move off ice to prepare themselves for a little success on the ice. Players first must get comfortable controlling the puck with their hands outside the body without dribbling. What this does is it keeps the puck protected from the defenseman trying to whack it away, but it also keeps the goalie honest because you have the puck in a shooting position and they have to protect the short side snipe. The first drill I have players do is leg to leg puck slide. The primary focus on this drill is to push the top hand across the body when going to the forehand. Next I'll introduce the Pitlick stick handling grid, add forward movement as they reach wide going red line to red line, making sure their hands get outside of the body for each trip across the grid. From there it's time to work on snapping the puck across the body quickly going backhand to forehand. Once they're able to do it smoothly, again I'll add forward movement as well as barriers to go around prior to each snap across. Now it's time to add the shot. Start the puck in the backhand side shooting position, push it forward past the first cone, snap it across the body to the forehand, and finish up by shooting lower corner far side. And finally, let's put everything together with forward movement, the snap across, and ending with a shot. So if you don't want to bother yourself cutting across the front of the net, and you see the goalie cheating a little bit, don't be afraid to throw one up short side once in a while. Just like one of the players I trained did recently. Nice snipe, Henry. Well, that's a wrap for this video. I hope you learned a couple things and enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.